hello and welcome to day our blog documentation in math pp here at my back is our calamansi and here in san antonio mevaisia but later we will be heading back to manila because tomorrow we will be having our classes later i will be choosing my attire so see you later look at our calamansi so green, so beautiful. A view from our rooftop. Pink polo, blue polo, Mickey t-shirt, gray shorts, white shorts, and blue shorts. Mayroong tatlong pantas at mayroong tatlong pambaba. Since I have tatlong pantas and tatlong pambaba, I have nine ways or nine possible outcomes or in simplest terms, nine pairs to choose from for my attire. Here is the attire that I have chosen. Look at this t-shirt and look at my shorts. We are off to the bus station. Bye bye, San Antonio. Here we are at San Isidro where we are waiting for the bus that will bring us back to Manila. Back to Manila. Hi guys, we just arrived here at our home. Hi guys, since it is the start of the crucial weeks because of the projects that needs to be submitted and the test that needs to be answered, and I'm also a type of person who likes to be organized, just like the one at my back, I have my organizer there where I have my schedules, projects, schedule of activities, and even the birth dates of my friends and classmates, I will be prioritizing what to do from the first priority to the third priority. Here we have the task that will be passed throughout the week, which as follows. For science, SDA, and MA or Music and Arts Reviewer, which will be passed on Wednesday, and Arts Accessory, which will be passed on Thursday. At the top, we have the table of priorities, the first, the second, and the third. On the first priority, I can choose from three tasks to first prioritize with. On the second priority, I'm only left with two tasks. And on the third, one task is available. With this table, I can have six possible outcomes or six possible arrangements of my prioritized task. It can be Science, MA, and Arts, Science, Arts, and MA, Arts, Science, and MA, Arts, MA, and Science, MA, Arts, and Science, and MA, Science, and Arts. Hi guys! Tonight is game night and we're gonna play one of the famous card games in the world together with my sister here. We're gonna play Uno! As you can see, we can also apply probability in this game. But unfortunately, the number of cards per color were not even because some of it were lost. Just like for example, in blue, we have 22, but in green, we only have 18. So let us now apply probability in this game. In this deck, there are 22 cards for blue, 18 for yellow, 18 also for green, 8 for red, 
5 for the special cards, and 1 for blank for a total of 70 cards in this deck. The probability of having a yellow card in this deck is 18 over 70, or in decimal form, it's 0 0.26. In blue, it's 22 over 70, or in decimal form, it's 0 0.28. Green is also the same with yellow, 18 over 70, or 0 0.26. While in red, it's 8 over 70, or in decimal form, it's 0 0.11. My favorite card, the special card, it's 5 over 70, or in decimal form, it's 0 0.07. And lastly, since there is only one blank card in this deck, it's 1 over 70, or 0 0.01. So in summary, the most possible color that you can get in this deck of cards is blue these possible colors that you can get from this deck are red the blank card and the special cards since my sister is already getting bored from me relating math and talking about probability in this card game we're now gonna play to have fun and with that thank you for watching my vlog and i hope to see you again Thank you. Bye-bye.